All right. Good afternoon, second year orchestra. So exciting about the music festival. And I just want to say everyone did amazing this week. You guys worked so hard. I'm really proud of everybody. So I want to go over each part and I'm actually making one video with all the parts. This is a really good way for you guys to see what other of the sections are doing. So we start understanding how this is all gonna put together. Then um, after I show you the steps of how I want you to be practicing to be successful in rehearsal, I'm gonna also sh um, share with you the backtrack. Now the backtrack is up to speed. So use it as a tool just so you can hear all the different parts. And when you, you feel that you can play up to that speed, great, okay? All right, so I'm going to actually start with violin one part. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here so everyone can see um, my parts here. So we're starting with violin one. So this is my tip for all the parts. I want you to look through the whole song and see when um, do my rhythms repeat? When do my notes repeat? Because as I talked with you this week, if you do it the first time, you can do it again, right? And it's just a good way to know like, okay, this is constantly repeating. There's only a couple of parts where things change. So starting with the violin one, I can see here, I'm looking, oh, okay, already measure five and measure nine is the same, okay? So I'm looking through my part here. Oh, 13 again, okay? Oh, 17 and so on. So I'm really looking through my parts first. Okay. So now I'm going to go to violin two. Okay. So same concept. Okay. Oh, you know what? Right here. Okay. 16. I'm sorry, 18. That number was small. And 14. This is exactly the same. So I'm doing the same steps. I'm looking to see what is repeating, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna go to the viola in violin three, okay? And I wanna see, oh, so if I go back to violin two, I'm noticing measure one through three, the rhythm is the same, right? So I know violin two, violin three and viola have the same rhythm, and they both have to rest eight measures. That's part of your practice, right? So we're doing one, two, three, four, two, two, three, and so on. Okay. And I'm doing the same thing. I'm looking to see what measures repeat. Okay. Because even though I said I wanted you to go to about measure 15, if the parts repeat later on through the song, I can go and skip ahead. Okay. All right, so same thing for the cellos. Cellos, the big thing that we were talking about this week. So from measure five, sorry, from measure three to measure 11, there's a pattern, right? It's repeating, okay? And then measure 12, the rhythm changes for a second and then it goes back. So I'm looking to see how many times that note is coming up. And even like, for example, right here, oh, these two measures are exactly the same, okay? Um, so these are the things I want to look at first. So then I'm going to go back to the top, okay? And the first thing I want to do is, as we talked about this week, the rhythm is so important. That comes first. I do not expect you guys, when I see you this week, this uh, next week, to have the notes correct, okay? What I do want is to have the rhythm down, okay? And the more you practice, you're gonna get the you can get those fingers down, okay? So the first thing I would do at home, so I'm doing the violin one part, okay? I'm gonna clap. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay, so I have that down. Okay, 
So now that I have my rhythm down, I am ready to play the first line, okay? So I'm gonna do that right now. And then I'm gonna play the violin two part, the violin three and viola, and cello. This is how I want you to be practicing at home. Now, if there's a measure where, or there's a few measures where you're like, I got this, I'm not making mistakes, you don't need to practice it. You're just practicing those measures where you are making mistakes, okay? Okay, so I'm starting here, okay? So I have one, two, Okay, so that was good. So if I make a mistake, I'm going back. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the second violin part. Okay, so if I'm starting here, I'm doing the same concept. I'm clapping my rhythm first. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so then I'm ready to play. So because the violin three and viola is the same, I'm not going to do this two times. Okay. So here's the violin two, violin three, and viola part. <laughs> So now I'm going to go down to the cellos, which is such an important part throughout this song, okay? So cellos, I'm going to clap from measure one through five. That's that first step. Once I get those measures, then I'm going to add on, okay? So it's going to be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Three, four, one, two, and three, four. Okay, so now here we go. Okay, I just want to go ahead and stop my share. So all I want is ninety percent up to measure 15. Okay, again, I do not expect the notes to be 100%, but I want that rhythm down because we're gonna be adding on measures when I see you. If you have any questions during practicing, please email me and we will set up a time so I can help you. And have an amazing long weekend.